What's up, you guys? Today we're in Koreatown in front of Sungnang Dan. Supposedly, this Korean food is super unique. Let's go try it. Come on. Okay, first off, it's packed. It comes with crazy stuff. Some scissors, some tongs. What are you supposed to do with it? I don't know. It's, it's probably used for your meals. I will say, though, it is very small, condensed little restaurant. So they're famous for this one dish. Check this out. All flames. Let's see how they're going to do that in here. Hello. Thank, Thank you. you. Awesome. What is all this stuff? So these are side dishes. Radish kimchi, cabbage kimchi, spiced kimchi. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And all that stuff is free. If you're struggling, just come on in here and just get the appetizers. They're free. Let's try it. Radish kimchi. Oh, I don't know the hell that is. It's thick though, like a pickled something. A little spicy, but not too bad. Very interesting texture. It's like a thick, I don't even know, man. It's thick though. Crunches. That's what we're getting. That's the flamethrower. An extreme heat? Well, why not? I just saw the price. What do you mean? $85. For what? Fire? That's how much the plate costs. Y'all better smash the like on this video, right? Did you know that? I didn't know that. I thought it was $25. It's number 25 on the list. Damn it. Can we do this? The big flamer? Number 25 is with the oxtail. If you like the oxtail, I'll recommend 25. Or not, it's 24 is show rib and the back rib. Ooh, which one's better? Which one's better? I like 24, but if you like the oxtail, then I'll recommend the 24. Let's do 24. Yeah, let's do 24. 24. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But we want big flames. Okay, if you add cheese, then we'll do the flame. Add thing. cheese. Yeah. Lots of cheese then. Okay. I'm lactose intolerant too, so okay. <laughs> just let everyone else be okay. warned. Okay. Oh, you want a medium or large? How big is medium? Medium is enough for two. Okay, okay, let's, let's do, do medium. medium. Okay, how spicy? How hot is extreme hot? It's gonna be really, really hot. <laughs> okay, let's not do let's that. Let's not do extreme. Maybe let's do, let's do medium, spicy. medium spicy. Medium spicy? Yeah. Okay, we have white rice and the brown rice. White rice. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Oh, they have banana milk. Interesting. This place is really cool so far. I really love the texture. Look at the Korean writing on the walls. I hope it's Korean. Look at that. It's even rated at 101 best restaurants in LA. I don't know. This place is going to be dank. I have a feeling. Okay, so the people at the table for us just got their meal. It's the same meal that we got, and there's this huge. I think they're about to set theirs on fire. Should we see a little pre show? No. Nah. nah. We'll wait. Don't look, don't look, don't look. Close your eyes. Oh. oh my god, it's huge. Oh, she's getting hot. <laughs> she said hot, hot, hot. Yeah, it just keeps starting back up. <laughs> so we see it being prepared in the back right there. Jake, get a tight zoom on that. Check that out. That's ours right there. Oh, she's spraying it with the liquid. Okay, so there's something that's inside that's flammable because it's about to burst. She's putting gasoline on it. Which makes you think, is it okay to eat this? I don't know. We're going to do it anyways, though. Am I in frame on this? Make sure they put it It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Check this out, it's huge. Yeah, we're ready. Watch out. Oh my god, you're shooting it right at me, yo. Wow, <laughs> more flame, more flame. I'm trying. Can I give it a try? Sorry. <laughs> My eyebrows are burning off my face. Ooh, that was amazing. Thank, Thank you so yeah. much. All right, you guys, man, this just came to the table. It looks insane. It was a crazy presentation. The flames literally felt like I was burning the tips of my hair. I'm not even sure it's all there. I don't know, but there's so much cheese on this that I'm literally going to be using the restroom in 10 minutes. Check this out, you guys. We're just going to start digging in. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh my, my God. God. I got a big piece of meat here. There's some kind of like stew at the bottom. It almost reminds me of pozole, a red pozole. And look at Jake's finally whipping out those scissors. He was wondering what they're for and it's to cut the meat. I'm going for it. Doesn't really work that well. All right, it's a Korean food. Mm. Oh, baby. That's tasty. It's like Korean barbecue mixed with like soup. There's literally this whole like delicious stew down below. All the meat. There's a whole bone. A whole bone. Look at this. A whole rib end. Oh, that's amazing. So you put it in your little tray and then you dig at it. It looks like there's potatoes, there's onions in here, carrots. I don't know how you would take something like this home though. There has to be a bowl. I see these boxes over here that look like custom made to carry this, but I'm not sure. The cheese itself is so delicious. I'm wondering what the, these little noodles are though. Oh my God. It's like a thick noodle. It's almost like bubble gum. Everything is so like hot and steamy together that it's just 
Oh, dude. I don't know. It has these big old chunks of potatoes in here, though. And I feel like I keep getting so much of those that that's what I'm I haven't had one. Tasting. I haven't, I've had this. I haven't had just that yet. Just eat one by itself. It's going to shock your mind. I want to try this meat. Oh, fall off a bone. I will say it's not spicy, though. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of spice, but no spice. It's tasty, though. It's thin. You can tell that's spicy. Oh, try the juice. It's spicy, but it's sweet. That's right? what I was trying to say. Like, it has like a sweetness to it, even the cheese. Oh, that's so delicious, dude. All right, let me try one of these noodle things you're talking about right here. It looks like a pasta noodle. Oh, what is that gum? What the heck is that? I don't know, it's so, <laughs> so good, good though. though. My favorite thing, these little rib ends right here. Ow, pop. She said this is probably good for two people. This, this is good, good for, for five. People. So it's delicious. So good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Also, thinking about K Town, this area, in this market alone, there's probably four other restaurants, like noodle shops and different other soup shops. And this place is special. Oh, I bet that sauce would be so crazy with this rice. Mmm. Oh, dude. Nuts. I am gonna say, I am only like 0 0.003 Asian descent, if that. And the one thing I do not have any talent for is chopsticks. And it really pisses me off because I wish I could eat a learnable task, you know? Could be something worse. I just can't, I can't grab anything. What if you didn't have hands? That'd be worse than not knowing how to use chopsticks. My question to you, Brian, is do you think this is worth the price in food quality? Well, yeah. I mean, look how big this piece is. This is a piece of meat I just pulled out of there. I think it's definitely worth it because the presentation itself, it coming out, being on fire, like that was an experience. That was fun. If you come on a date here, you come with your kids, you know, it's something that the kids can take away and remember as like a family experience. Just for 85 bucks for this thing, it's definitely worth it. You need these scissors because this shit is hot. I can't even pull it apart. Do you think all those UFOs are, I mean, all those balloons are UFOs? I know you guys have been seeing, you know, the Chinese balloon that was floating over Montana or some shit. But there's been like seven of them. There's been a couple more, but I don't know if you guys noticed this if you watched the Super Bowl, but during the commercials, there was a U2, the band U2, in Las Vegas announcing their residency, and their commercial was about the balloons. What if this is all a giant promotion for U2? getting back together as a band on tour in Las Vegas for the residency. It would be genius. Or if they're just jumping on it for a marketing tactic, which is also genius, and trying to claim it as their own. I do hate U2 ever since they put their music on my well, Apple Music that would just play all the time, but it doesn't do that anymore. What Luckily. is your song that plays? Mine is All Me by Drake, because it goes by alphabetical now. I don't have songs on my phone. I just use Spotify. Me too, but I buy a couple songs. Definitely buy my songs. If you guys haven't been streaming my music, what are you doing? First link down below. Check out the music video Jake directed with my buddy Martin. Yes, fire video. I can't get over this place. Like, I'll be back. When will you be back though? That's the question. I don't know, man, but I'll like, be back. Would you, would you make the 40 minute drive no, just to I wouldn't. Have it? I wouldn't, but if I'm in the area and I need, I'm coming home from a long thing of traffic and I'm, I'm about to pass this part at 6 p.m., I'll definitely swing by and kill the dinner time rush hour I just here. burn my whole tongue. Yeah, it's hot. The cheese is probably the best cheese I've ever tasted in my life. And this might be cheese. Do you think like a cheese block? Like, what is this? Is it cheese? Mm -mm. It's almost like mochi texture. We're about to tap out, and it still looks like it was fresh. If they would put more cheese on it, they could reuse this plate. They could, honestly. Like Jake was saying, there is a lot of meat in there, but there's definitely a lot of other stuff too that makes it look a lot more fuller than it is. Oh, dude, yeah, we gotta take this home. <laughs> And this is Jake's bathroom review. First off, we're in like half a storage closet. Endless supplies, COVID supplies, more menus, just in case you run out of TP. No paper towel on the toilet. Early America stuff, probably doesn't have the good pipings, but it is what it is. I will say this urinal is the, the shortest to the ground possible so anyone can use that, which is very inclusive. Love that. All right, back to the food, let's go. No, but I have a quick question. Yeah. What is that, this thing? It's a rice cake. Oh, it's a rice cake. Yeah, did you try it? Yeah, I did, it's delicious. Okay. Definitely good, definitely will be back for sure. Thank you, of thank course. you Of course, thank you. So it was a rice cake. Mm, man, it's like a gumball, but softer. Mochi texture. Yeah. Let's get this cleaned up, let's see the damage, and let's get out of here. Obviously, it looks cool plated, but let's see how they box this thing up, because that's what I'm curious about. You've done this before, haven't you? Time. <laughs> <laughs> so there you guys have it. The best Korean food. Highly recommend you come on out here and try Sun Nong Dong. So freaking delicious. You won't regret it. I love ya. I'll see you later. Peace.
never thought